All right, our next question comes from Mrs. who emailed her question, why does sex sometimes feel pleasurable and then all of a sudden you feel pain or numbness? Does it have something to do with having ovarian cysts? Dr. Nita, please help us on this one. Okay, well first of all, she mentioned ovarian cysts, so what are they? Think of an ovarian cyst as a fluid-filled sac on or in your ovary, and sometimes that sac can also contain a little tissue. So they're really common. In fact, when a woman has her menstrual cycle, most women will form a small cyst each month. Also, most of them are benign, meaning they're not cancerous, and most people won't have any symptoms, and a lot of times they'll go away on their own. But specifically talking about ovarian cysts, and pain with sex, sometimes if you have a cyst, especially if it's larger, you can have some pain during sex, which is also known as dyspareunia. And the reason that happens is when the penis hits the ovarian cyst, it can cause discomfort, or sometimes it can even cause that ovarian cyst to rupture, so some of the fluid can leak into the pelvis, and that can be painful. Now, sometimes people will think they're having pain because of an ovarian cyst, but really they have something else going on, like endometriosis, fibroids, or pelvic inflammatory disease, maybe sexual intercourse was particularly rigorous, or maybe it's the sexual positioning, okay? So you wanna make sure it's really the cyst causing your pain, and if it's a small cyst, like two centimeters or something like that, probably not the cause of your pain with sex, unless there's something else going on like endometriosis. Now, as far as the numbness, I don't think that has anything to do with her ovarian cyst. That's just really good sex, girl. <laughs> like, that says, I can't feel my face sex. I guess you'd when say you're that drunk. numbness will go away. Yeah, yeah, so if it's just like for a few seconds, sometimes your nerves become hypersensitive and people will interpret that as some tingling or numbness. So for your cyst, what you'll wanna do is go to the doctor and then your doctor will do an ultrasound and make sure they don't wanna do periodic ultrasounds to evaluate the cyst and just keep an eye on it. Sometimes they'll offer you birth control pills to prevent the formation of a new cyst or if the cyst is bothering you, if it's getting larger, or if there are worrisome characteristics, they might recommend surgery. But as far as that numbness, you need to hold on to that. <laughs> <laughs> That's that high five, let me get you a sandwich. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I've never heard it explained so eloquently and happily, so that was great. Yeah, that was um, I, I think that uh, you know, painful sex, a lot of times it is anatomical, or there is some sort of condition going on. But I think there's always something, something to say about uh, mental happiness with your partner Absolutely. and feeling comfortable and making sure that if you're not ready for intimacy and the lubrication isn't ready in that moment, that you don't start too soon. So a healthy line of communication is important for pain-free sex. A lot of people will skip over that, but I think that's an important factor to think about. That's Good very point. true, that's very true. And during your exam, your doctor will determine whether you're experiencing pain when you first start are during deep penetration. So a lot of different moving parts there, but your doctor can definitely help you get to, you know, help you get a definitive answer.